This is KG4 in WEE broadcasting live from a field in the middle of nowhere. And I'm going to tell you about how I'm not going to break my antenna connector on my MD2017. This is an MD2017 dual band DMR radio. And I put an aftermarket antenna on it. Now, those of you that know, know that you're not supposed to put an aftermarket antenna on this radio because the base on the antenna that comes with it is a lot bigger. And if you do that, then it won't be right. And it'll you, you'll drop it. You'll drop it. No, I won't. You could drop it. And it will break the antenna connector. And then you're going to have to learn how to solder. And then you're going to have to learn how to take out little bitty screws and take apart the radio. And there's two little wires that you can't completely disconnect from the speaker unless you unsolder them and then resolder them when you're done. And it's just a big hassle. So don't break the dadgum connector. This is what I did. Because I like my smiley tri-band antenna. This thing is got a springy spring on it. It's got... It's VHF. Look at that. It's VHF. VHF. Quarter wave on two meters. 17 inches long this thing is. Drop it down to one, two. Guess what that is. 5 eighths wave on 440. One, two more. Guess what that is. That's a quarter wave on 220. Now, I don't have 220, but if you do, try, uh, uh, a Smiley makes an antenna that is a dual band antenna and it does not work the same. It's a little different. It's like, it doesn't have the, it has, it has quarter wave on 440, which is what this is. Quarter wave on 440 and then a quarter wave on 2 meters. But the tri band, 1, 2, that's a 5 8 wave on 2 meters. I mean, oh, 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 said that wrong. Back it up. Forget about that. That's a 5 8 wave on 440, and then you drop it down two more, which is four total from the top. Is my brain working? Click, 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 click. Uh, quarter wave on 440. I think, I think, I think, I think. I don't use 220, so I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure four down from the top is 220, a quarter wave. So we got, I'm not going to go through all that again. You can just back it up and look at it. If I was wrong, I was wrong, and I'll put the little words on the screen so you'll see it anyway but in order to keep this thing from breaking there's a fix with the washer and whatnot I, I didn't watch I watched a video or two and yeah there's ways to do it there's lots of ways to do it what I did was I went up to the uh oh keyed up again let me turn this thing off so I uh there it is and it sticks up so high. Screwsy, screwsy, screwsy. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that just look good? Doesn't that just look like something that's complete and finished? Sure. If you say so. So, we need something here. And, and and this spring does a pretty good job because I've like jerked it around and stuff and it seems like it's going to be okay but found these little washers tractor supply this is a 3 8 hole in the middle it's a 1 inch washer and it's the 16th of an inch thick but it didn't fit a little bit too big it's okay I got a pocket knife yeah, I know. Looks a little rough. Came with two. I'll take that one and then I'll do a razor blade. I'll do a good job. I promise I will on the next one. Anyway, so this goes in here. Just like that. Rubber. Now it's flush. Alright? Now, I was looking for something else. Because it has a 3 8 hole, not a quarter inch hole. That's a 3 8 hole and there's a little space and put this on here see there 
Doesn't quite go all the way down. Doesn't quite go all the way down. And, you know, what's the point then? You know what that is? You carpenters? You metal workers? You leather workers, maybe? Uh-oh. Came in a pack of four, so if I lose them, it's okay. This is a finishing washer. You know, it goes on something, and you can put the screw in it, and the screw sits nice and flush to that. It's a nice little round, pretty little thing, you know. Just go to the hardware store and say, Can I have a finishing washer, please? Um, can I have a number 10 finishing washer, please? Starting to look better. I got all the stuff in my hands. Tighten it down all the way. And if I really push on it right here, I can see a little gap there. So it's not, you know, there's a little gap in there. If I push on it really hard, um, I can make a, a gap show up. So it's just, it's not like putting a lot of pressure on the washers and everything. And plus it's a rubber washer, so it's going to kind of bite into itself. You see that? I like it. I like it better than a big old ugly nasty gap there. And uh, that's what I did. And, you know, if I drop it, plus, you know, the gain. Who can complain about gain? But, you know, on 440... You know all the DMR repeaters that we have around here 440 so KG4 NWE so that corner wave is going to do me great and I can put it up against me put it on my belt and it 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 be okay and uh, it was only like 17 bucks 17 bucks so um I got another one I actually ordered two the first one I, I bought uh for my FT60 I use it on the FT50, but I bought it for the FT60. Any, anyway, one time, one day I was I snatched it out. I, I got over excited or whatever because it happens to me sometimes. I snatched it out, and right here, this top section right here, just came out. So I put a piece of tape on it, put it back in. It's, you know how, if if you've ever been a destructive person like me and you've broken something like this before you would know that it's got the little brass uh, whatever you call them that kind of hold it from coming out and this and this is kind of cove bent inward whatever I don't want to get in there and explain it all that but anyway that's called a wave so that's the way I use it I'm gonna use it mostly and uh, when I hear my buddy on uh, my buddy's on two meters I can pull it out and I have a quarter wave on two meters and then uh, if I'm a good bit from the repeater there with the second 9600 which is very useful in areas that don't have any repeater I'm quite he's not from the US anyway it's in DX there on DMR anyway that's on my 5H wave how about that yeah anyway so that's what I did and uh, because I like this antenna I really do but I just feel like quarter wave quarter wave 5 8 wave ha has got to be better if it's not I'm wrong I checked the RSSI on the PRN and I was keying and keying and keying gave my call sign first keyed 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 somebody came back and said KG4 NWE your radio is working it is working with the tone as if maybe you wasn't happy about that and and I agree I totally get it if the radio's going click 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 or whatever it does um, that that probably was annoying and I'm sorry about that if he's watching anyway uh, but there uh, you know there was nobody to talk to so nobody was using it I keep I said my call sign and anyway I was looking at the RSSI on there and I uh, prove to myself that the DBM is, is a little bit better with this antenna even at a quarter wave than this now this is a fabulous really good antenna it really is anyway that's what I did and uh, there you go
you go. So hit the like button. You don't have to. But hit the subscribe button. And look at the links down below. You're going to Amazon.